I love it. Take two. In response to the question about what difference can one person make in this world, and also following the discussion about holding true to one's word, I was drawn to share the experience I've had over the last three years working with that. Um, when uh, my wife and I were getting ready to come back to Rhode Island, we were leaving Oregon, we were talking to one of our mentors, we said, we're planning on opening a grocery store over here on the west side in our neighborhood where we're used to living and where we were planning to move back to. And he said, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. You should go with that. And we got back and, you know, we were here to welcome our son and we did that. I got back to trades work like normal, just making things happen. And um, a year went by. And then in that next year, in the fall, we had found out that, you know, there was two groups that had been working together to get a food co-op opened here. But one of the groups decided after getting some consulting that they didn't think it was a possibility and they didn't think it was going to work out. So they had... Uh, had, had stepped back, stepped down, and there was a need for still for this grocery store that we had all been hoping for, the whole neighborhood for decades. And um, we stepped in to offer our support and say, hey, we just want to assist. We really hope that the store can happen. You know, we've been doing community gardening and farming, and we'd love to help. And with the offer that we received from that was, why don't you guys do it? Why don't you make the whole thing happen? And so then our five-year kind of, or we've been talking about it for probably three years at that time, oh, we want to open a little store, we want to sell food, do some cooking, and um, with the farm stuff, the local, like, then it was suddenly given to us as an offer. Why don't you do it? Why don't you go with it? And if you do, here's a grant for it, here's a space for it, it's already zoned, right? Um, and so we thought about it, okay, and we we decided to, you know, we, we were still thinking about it. We were talking with people. I was getting, meeting up with mentors and having them tell me uh, mostly pretty much not to do it, that it was really, I didn't know what I was getting into. I was in a way over my head. Um, but we knew it had to happen, so we decided to keep going forward. And we presented the idea to the community, to the neighbors at the Providence Provision uh, Soup Dinner where everyone pays for the soup and then the uh, winning um, proposal gets gets the draw from the night and so we participated in the first Providence Provision dinner and we were selected we won and um, you know at that point I, I came and said oh they you know the, it was announced and I said okay you know we've chosen you and I stood in front of the 30 40 50 people and said we're doing this this is where we're going we're going to open the grocery store we're here we all know that we want this to happen so we're gonna make it happen and so we got the draw from the night, and they said, here's, here's 400 bucks, go open the grocery store. And so we had that, and we, we went and we opened a bank account. You know, you start with what you, with what you, you receive, and from there we did the Kickstarter, and, and everyone, just by standing up and being willing to do it and making a declaration and a commitment to do it, all of the resources were handed into us because we were willing to do it and because we were trusted to follow through. And so at that point, when we were chosen, that was the point of no return. That was the point of full commitment because I had made the declaration in front of the 40 people in the room to say, I am going to do this. I am doing this now. And from there, there was no stepping back. If we were to have not done it, we may have to skip town. We wouldn't be able to show ourselves here because we were no account. But we, we chose to be of account. We chose to be at cause and to make it happen and um, so now when we're we, we are there and, and it's we open the store every day for 400 plus days now um, and I get I get to stay at the register and people come in and that was one of the original dis, uh, understandings of why I chose to do it it's not just because well okay I'll be a merchant sell vegetables but because I knew that the community comes into the space and leave the space and they have they pass through that space like foragers and now when I'm there and people come in and I'm able to interact with every single person who comes in the door to get vegetables and to have them leave with a bit of um, my spirit and my inspiration as I share a moment with them over just a daily interaction around food and that's how I've chosen to make a difference on a daily level through a extended process of holding true to my word.
All right. That's awesome. Yeah.